And you failed three. You were predicting much better grades than these. Oh, it's just all my fault, isn't it? I mean, everything that's happened, dragging you back from Milan and Callum and Kylie. I can retake them, though. I'll do better next time. It's been such a rubbish mum. I've just let you down so bad. I'm so sorry. You from now on, things are going to be different, I promise you. Okay? Right, I should be getting off. Did you know about this this morning at the cafe? I said she needs to talk to you. Well, at least there was somebody there she felt she could talk to, so... Look, these things seem bad at the time, but there's always a way to sort them out. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Oi, you missed it. Leanne, pregnant, due in spring. OK, uh, this calls for a little champagne. Will you join us? Me? Yes, you. You did help break the good news, didn't you? Oh, oh go on then. My pleasure. Give us a hand. Uh, two bottles of champagne, please, Liz, and I hope you'll join us as well. I'm fine, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. So, it's going to be another baby in the family. Oh, it's, um, it's great. Unfortunately, we've, we've had some bad news. Bad news? Bethany's exam results. Oh, dear. Uh, are they a bit of a disappointment, sweetheart? Uh, more like disaster. Well, I'm not surprised after that letter from the school. What letter? Oh, she walked out of one of the exams. Well, it wasn't going very well, was it? We, we didn't want to tell you because it was while you were in hospital. You should have told me. She can take it again. Yeah. So, I was right, it is my fault. No, no, it's not. I can redo the whole year if I have to. Well, you're coping very well. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go home, if that's all right. I'm not really in the mood for celebrating. Are you sure? So... Who's for champagne? And the rest? Your bum weighs more than that on its own. What are you doing here? I thought we could be gym buddies. Seeing as you've got no mates. Well, come on, lardy. Look at the state of you wobbling like a jelly. <laughs> How did you get that fat? Stuff in your face full of chips again. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm helping. If you keep getting fatter and fatter, then you're going to explode and then we'll all be covered in plat fat. <laughs> plat fat. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> ah! You're going to regret that. Oi, oi! <laughs> Leave it. Well, she hit me. You saw what happened. No, I saw you start it. Now get out and don't come back. I am going to make you suffer. I said out. Go on. That your friend, is it? Maria's so lovely. Don't... I can't believe I hit her. She's going to be so mad. Does your mum know about this bullying? She thinks it's sorted. Well, it's clearly not, is it? She's been through so much. You saw what she's like. And you think you can handle it by yourself? You know, I've messed up so many times I've lost count. Most of the time it's because I was too dumb or too proud to ask for help. I don't want to worry, my mum. Like, I can help. All right, but you've got to meet me halfway. First, no more pills, and that's a deal breaker. <sighs> OK. I told you, I flushed them away anyway. When are you back at school? Next week. All right, then next week I'm coming in with you to report Lauren. No. Hey, I never said this was going to be easy, all right? But whatever's been done before, it's not working, is it? No, please. Or we can tell your mum, but I can't keep this to myself. Fine. We're going to school. All right, come on. Where are we going? Not going anywhere. I'm walking you home in case your mate's standing around. She told me it was...